This is far enough. Infantry will go in the first whistle. Then we follow. Heavens above. You ever seen anything like this? I have. I'm sorry to say. Listen, we're going to cut down the guns up by that windmill. to do with this. What Why am I just you? walking around? I am innocent. Maybe most interesting part of this review, the CTDP. The CPU offers you to choose a target TDP of 45 or 65 watts. Here we have both options in action. Can you guess which side is what? You probably think the 65 watts are on the right, but that's wrong, it's on the left. So what's happening here? Well, CTDP is especially useful on APUs, where the SOC has the CPU and the GPU to share its TDP budget with. But here in the Affluence case, there's no GPU to throttle, only CPU cores, so the 65 watt option only allows the CPU's frequency to spike to 3.8 GHz occasionally, what almost never happens under the 45 watt option. So why the hell is the 45 watt option faster then? 
Well, on the left, in the first CPU set window, we can see the Northridge frequency. It is considerably lower than under CTDP45 on the right. Remember, the Athlon has no level 3 cache. It has a very small level 2 cache. So increasing the throughput in the Northridge speeds up the CPU disproportionately more than having a 100 MHz faster CPU core from time to time. Now let's put the 45 watt version through some games. In Battlefield 1, it beats the overclocked Athlon and comes close to the Pentium. Also in GTA 5 we see nice gains. In CPU set test we can see that the 45 watt option has a minor regression in single thread performance, but compared to the potential massive gains in gaming, this can be ignored.